Oh, wow. Yeah, you know what? Since I'm in this shirt, I might as well do this shit. Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're having one, the only. I am a Hobo Tom. And let's see here. So the one... Oh, did I close everything? Shoot. Uh-oh. That's okay. Actually, I should have uploaded already. That's okay. Um... Yeah, I'll figure something out. And only asked me a message. Must have done. That's okay. Yep, but I'm here to talk about some NXT action. Um. Oh. Metal Rana. Yes, thank you very much, sir. You, sir. Holy shit. I think I saved it. I don't know. I'll find out soon enough. Soon enough. Uh, let's see. Let's start off. Uh, Braun Breaker comes out. Gives a promo. He's so happy to get his belt back. Then Imperium. But he must fight Valta. Or Gunta. Comes out. And this is going to start the show off. Actually, he starts the show off with the Creed Brothers. Taking on Imperium. Imperium is huge. Um... Eichner, classic wrestler, he's so good. Uh, the arm bar, the big shoulder tackle. I forget which one, Creed Brother won, the alligator roll. Again, you start throwing collegiate wrestling moves. I dig it. Or actually, that's more freestyle. But yeah, same thing. Uh, for the most part, same difference. Folk style, freestyle, really close. Here we got two for the takedown and two for the back points. Um... Poor Marcel. He always gets he always gets beat up. He always eats those hard bumps. The great headlock takedown though and reversal. Again, this was a really good wrestling match. And ouch! Oh, when that Creed brother number two, I'll call him, got body slammed. That leg hit the rope. I'll tell you what, folks. Those ropes do not give necessarily. So yeah, he has a mark from that. And then the Tree of Woe miscue. And then, I don't know. Eichner left. It's like, Imperium went to set up their Tree of Woe double team. Eichner said, screw this, I'm out of here. And just left. Whoa. Uh, that left poor um, Marcel Martel. Except for, yeah, I felt the true death to finish, baby. Nobody wins. Uh, wait, that happened the next match, too. Because this time, Pretty Deadly from the Mystery Jumpers, the Mystery Assailants, Pretty Deadly came out. I'll tell you what, up to this point, I'm going to have to downgrade this match. I just realized that. This is a, this was a surf and turf match. A little, little um, introduction of Thereby Pretty Deadly. Cheeseburger match. Still good, though. Can't complain about it. Then we have the toxic toxic attraction interview. I don't know. GG does have a great ass, but I don't know. You see so much of it, it's like, man. There's so much of it being spread around every wrestling organization. Jeez. Maybe this is how, how Frank felt. At Amherst. You massive Amherst. With all those women weren't running around. Just said, man. The day I say that. Is the day I should give up the show. But not yet. Um, then Cameron Grimes to the moon comes out. He's going to be. A, and then Solo Uso, Solo Hikeo, uh, Solo Uso comes out, challenges him. Then Gacy. Gacy again is growing on me. Gives a great promo. Then it was Draco and some Aussie guy. I think that's the other one. I honestly forget. And then there was the Index versus Douche as the hot couple whatever uh, Tiffany's trend came out you know what 
And that was a lot of talking. Tiffany Strand came out, called out Saray, like Sailor Moon Saray. I have no idea. Then we had a match between Dexter Loomis and Duke Hudson. Um, Dexter, the Luthes press and the axe handle blows. Classic. Oh, I get so happy when I see old school wrestling moves. Duke hit like the, the rock bottom is what it is. Sidewalk slam. Uh, Dexter, the belly to belly suplex. The kip up with the leg drop and then the bulldog. And then they both wind up outside. Uh, they both get kind of noggin knocked into each other because of their lady friends. Um, and then they couldn't beat the 10 count. And it was a double count out. This, folks, is a true dust to finish. It was kind of good. No, nobody wins. The can of dusty old Campbell soup. Wow, when there's not a lot of wrestling, the show goes quick. Um, and then Gunter has to make an example of how imperium should be. Then we had JC and Gigi taking on Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai. Raquel does that spinning slam. That was pretty cool. Then uh, her partner, Dakota Kai, gets tagged in for the assist and knee drop. Uh, toxic attraction. Good double team moves. Uh, going right after Raquel Gonzalez's knee the way it should always be in pro wrestling. Go after the injured part. Dakota Kai again hit the scorpion kick. Um, then a little double team. Dakota Kai came with the flying stomp. And then Raquel hit the spinning Vader bomb. However, w Wendy Choo Choo shows up. Wendy Choo should never be... Oh, that outfit. She looked like a giraffe outfit from the old Toys R Us. In a while. And then the, um, the heels, again, were cheating. Then they had the, the, to the running total elimination. JC and Gigi win their titles back. Um, this is kind of just like 50-50 booking, hot-shotting stuff. And, of course, I would like to thank Toxic Attraction. I know that Dakota Kai was blocked down there. Indeed. And that was probably, like, the best part of the match. Ham sandwich match. And there was the Tony D'Angelo. Um, had his La Costa Nostra initiation. Which is weird, because that's, that's a real no-no. So, some, some Italian mob series guy is going to say, Tony D. Cannot do that on live TV. They goofed it up because they had to have a card of, I forget if it was St. Vincent. Put your blood on that. But then they burnt the card. But I know you needed a Saints card for it. And, um, yeah. Then MSK. And there's going to be no more MSK. So I have no idea what they're going to be doing with those tag belts. They might just have a tournament. Um, Nash Carter, I guess the the whiter of the two. It's so terrible to say the whiter of the two, but yeah, the white guy in MSK. You cannot just slap my princess Kimberly around. Nash Carter, I've received Daytona Beach. There will be receipts. I remember seeing my princess Kimberly. In NXT, and sir, you cannot do that. I'll make Princess Kimberly a mom. Oh wait, I can't. I should not be saying that. But yeah, she is. She ain't, will will be and always will be my Princess Kimberly. Cause I thought she was married to Trey though. That's I thought that was the reason why she like stayed there, over in Impact. But who knows? Or maybe that was the reason why Trey was over there, stayed in Impact, and didn't leave the MSK. And broke up the the, um, the treehouse gang. What were they? The, I forget now. But yeah. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. Never hit a woman unless she's coming at you with a frying pan, knife, or gun. Or other large, heavy implements. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty good rule. 
if you're sleeping with her and she's like, I have a headache, you just can't go. That's that's that's, that's no no. Front if she comes at you with a frying pan, uh, um, yeah. Then we had Nikita Lions versus Lash Legends, and <laughs> ouch, that Lash Legends elbow that was legit. Uh, Nik Nikita Lions outfit started to come unbuckle at the thighs. I love those wardrobe malfunction, folks. Uh, Lions had a big German suplex. They trade punches for a little bit. There was a superplex, which is always good to see. Lash Legend hit the prong clutch. Again, a move from the book of My Princess Kimberly. Uh, Lions hit that <laughs> the thought split. That was pretty cool. Solid match. You know what? I, I still get a chuckle out of it. There was a wardrobe, semi-wardrobe malfunction. Cheeseburger match. Then there was Legado del Fantasma. First, and uh, they tell Tony D'Angelo, hey, this is our stuff. Honestly, this is a mob. The Italian mafioso versus the cartel situation. Gang warfare all over the place. A uh, little Von Wagner thing. Whatever. Then it was the main event was Gunther from Imperium, also known as Volta. Volta was better. Gunther kind of comes off the lips too. Very German sounding. Versus Rex Steiner, Braun Breaker. Again, in the promo, he said, Yeah, I'd like to thank my. my it was such an honor to invoke my, my dad and uncle. Into the Hall of Fame. He's a Steiner. Just say Rex Steiner. Or I'd even be happy with Braun Steiner. Uh, so this match is a classic tie-up. They give a little test of strength. The hemlocks of the headlock. Gunter. A little too big for the power slam from Rex Steiner right now. Uh, now takes controls with the chops and getting the hammerlock. Really classic. He does the, the drop kick, the power bomb, the splash. There's only a two sweet count. Um, and at WrestleMania, they were doing that. That was cool to hear. And of course, he locks in the, the ever dreaded sleeper hold. Um, Rex Steiner eventually makes his comeback. It's the Steiner line. Uh, then the, the press body slam. Good match. Solid wrestling. Surf and turf match. Indeed. Whoa, someone's playing their music. And that was NXT. Wow, I got this video on it pretty quickly. You know, it's amazing how fast I can get these videos and then when there's so little wrestling. Even though there were the typical five matches, when you start having disqualifications and double counts and a bunch of people yapping, um, it goes quickly. So hopefully this will go up soon. Hopefully I got my other video up soon. And I'll have two more videos to make. And I'll be all cut up this week, which is good. Again, for I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I'll see everyone later. Uh, it's time for some impact stuff. Remember, I can't live stream yet. A few more days, though. Then I get to live stream again. Bye.